Jessica Holyfield and I'm a professional dance choreographer and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States and we are here taking a look at Get Loud by Kiss of Life. We have the performance version as well as the dance practice. Uh, for YouTube I may attach the music video as a part of the editing as well just so you get the full look if I haven't had it released yet but I am very excited for this because I do recognize some of the dancers. They are personal acquaintances of mine so it's really fun to get to celebrate them as well as celebrate Kiss of Life with their most recent comeback. I think without further ado let's go ahead and get into it. So we got a little wolf. I already kind of saw this wolf a little bit in the album preview. Ooh. Oh my gosh. The guitar. Cheetah Girls a little bit, right? Wow. Yes, ladies. But that confetti was a nightmare to clean up. Wow. chance they shot this in LA if that's the case. Da -da -na 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 -na. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. We gotta pause it real quick. Yeah, so T Custin right here. He and I I know him from uh, Nashville. We we did a session together, which is super cool. Um, wow. Yeah, part of me feels like this is in LA, if that is the case, because he also did backup for ATs at Coachella, if you're curious. I love representation right there. Love it, as it should be. She just said bye. She just popped off in confetti. Goodness gracious. I absolutely love this. This is so, so Cheetah Girls coded. I swear to you. This is everything. Did they literally say, we want a Cheetah Girls album, and, but make it K-pop? <laughs> I bet that would have been a really fun conversation. I would love to know if that was an inspiration of any kind that screams this to me in the best nostalgic way, which validates my point that I made from the jump. I am excited for a dance practice. I'm not gonna talk about it here. I'm not gonna talk about the dancing. I'm just telling you, it's giving, it's giving. Like, I am so excited 
to see what this is all about. Part of me is really hopeful that we're gonna have a performance version or something that has the dancers too, so we can really see the visual compared to with the dancers versus just them as all four. Because I know it's gonna it's gonna feel different in energy, which is fine. But also just seeing um, how the formations are structured just looks different whenever you have a bunch of dancers versus just you as a quartet, right? But Lord have mercy, yes, I'm here to get loud for this, and I'm so so excited to take a listen to the rest of the albums because I am doing a choreo with Jess with one of the Kiss of Life's tracks. So I cannot wait to see which one I end up going with and just hearing them and diving deep with y'all. I'm gonna be so honest, what Julie is wearing reminds me so much of CL in such a complimentary way. Yo. Wow. yourself is that what they say lose yourself at the tail end because by doing that that's the name of their album uh killer okay dance practice right here ready to go love the fact they have the dancers too yes i'm ready for the fix cam
Really like how they transitioned it, yeah. I love this part. I think that's my favorite part out of all of it. Da -da 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 -da. They said, done. Ah, uh, really, really enjoyed that. Okay, from the top, let's talk about it. So you guys are like, Jess, who do you know in this? Well, let me tell you. So I would say, like, actually, no, TK. Good to see him here. Also, if you didn't know, he did the, um, I mean, I already, for the music video, I already kind of put him out there, but just reinstating it here. Uh, he also danced for ATs for Coachella as well, so that was really fun to see him kind of dive into that. So I'm really proud of him for the fact that he's he's getting work, and it's and it's a lot of really good artists too. Like it's not, he's not like does that he's not compromising himself. Does that make sense? It's, like, whatever morals he has or anything, there's some artists that are just like you you end up changing as a person at the end of it for me who he's working with on the k-pop side i really do like the artist so that's really fun to see we're here for it okay just the different angles to start up we really love i love the sound that kiss of life has gone with it's so redemptive for me i've already talked about it it's it's really really nice it's such ugh, music to my ears literally we're here for it okay so some subtlety they bring it over da 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 Really love that. With the switch up there, they go and they reset, and I like the subtlety, the whispers, and once again, because it's a whisper, having us all kind of dive in with our ears makes logistic sense, right? So totally here for that. She's like, Shh, what you want? Okay, we're here for it. Come on. Again, they reset. I like the hit, boom, 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 boom. And then right here, they go. I like just a snap. They have the snap in the in the track. So there's a lot of choices that they're doing. There's like sound play. It's like word play, but it's just on the sound. Where we're, you know, making choices that feel obvious, but they're just really nice to feel. It's nostalgic, I would say, is what I'm catering this choreo to. And a lot of the hybrids of it go more towards like the old school vibe, which I really like. It's, it's a Y2K R&B track, so it reminds me of. Or like the Y2K pop scene. It feels like that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, and they go do 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 do, and I love the little guitar strum da 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 with the with the accent with the hip. Come on, and they bring it through. I like the brush on the shoulder, bringing it to a whisper. I like the just the taking the ball change going on with our ladies, and we have a nice little accents pulling on it, and they go a nice little pivot to turn around, and they go back down. That oh, 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 I like the with the body rolls on this too is really nice with the switch up with the lunges with the standing. It's fun, and then having your members branch away, they come right back up. Also, I love it. I saw it with Taman with Horizon, just the diversity of who you have dancing. I love the fact that we have who we have dancing. Thank you for that. This is a change that I love seeing. Celebrate it. I'm here for it. I love it. I love seeing just dancers be able to celebrate art. And and to me, this is just this is just beautiful. I love it. Thank you. It's cool. I like the little cha-cha with the clap clap is fun. I loved her charisma that she did in the performance version. Really, really nice. I think it was great here. Fix cam version is awesome. And I like from there we have our inside groupings branch off and then you have your outside go away. Then we have a nice little partner moment. And then from here, fun moment shared. Well, I like the little drive drive, go high to low. And of course, because of the type of fit she's wearing, this arm does get a little caught and a bit hard to see. That's life, whatever. And they go and da 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 da. I like the double up with the bounce with the arm up. We're here for it. Do a little brush on the tail end of that. A little ding. I love how they recognize that ding sound with the little cheek tap. It's cute. And swings with the brush brush. Uh, not brush brush, just swing swing. Come on. And they come up, up. Oh, and I like this choice where we have from one to two and then we're building with three and then she stays up. Come on. 
This goes da 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 cha cha. Now I just watched Helen's Way, and she ends up going dee 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 dee. So I'm used to these little accents uh, going on ISOs. I just think they're so fun. Always so fun. She does a little, little brush on the floor. I like the little tap tap on the arms from everybody. Turn me on. Okay, come on. To the inside. Of course, you have this little moment coming from those two from Natty. Oh, so cute. Natty's hair on this is super, super cute. It's awesome. We love it. Honestly, she's her hair, I feel like I would need to mimic her if I'm going to cover this. And the part that I would cover is going to be near the end, and it's not even going to be a course. That whole little the bridge that has Natty in it, oh, my God, the breakdown. Oh, I love it. Eating. Totally will do that in the event if I have to choose between Igloo and Get Loud. We'll see. Maybe we'll do a vote. We'll find out. Anyway, maybe we'll do both. I don't know. Some subtleties with this step. I like the little rotation pivot on that. Then they end up doing just a nice little transition in the diagonal. And they do a little body roll on that with the ball changes. And they do a little tap there. Notice it's more of an Afro syncopation that we're hearing here. So just a little nice little uh, just accents going on with the hands to the knees is really fun. And they go high. This does feel like we did like the slowest air screw. They would see in whacking do, 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 with a little port of bra embellishment on the tail end. The pull in is nice, and she has this moment. Boom, boom, ooh. They phrase it over, so now you have, I believe it's Belle in the center versus having Natty in center, and I love how they built them both times. First time with Belle, I love the thread that she's in there. She goes in, boom, boom, the closing up, and then we have a beautiful moment with our arms up to the top. Then we go and present, ooh, with the melt melt. Come on. Help, which we are living for, and of course, you have this little butterfly moment. Yes. And then we flick it away. Na, 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 na. And I like the brush brush from our dancers to complement this subtlety that we saw coming off of our members. That little get loud. Same thing that we've seen in course two we see here. But I like the semicircle. It gives a little cipher event, cipher mode. And I like how they go up and they bleed it through, dig and dig. And then you have your dancers have both their arms down and they're taking their body and energy to the back and center. I love that. Phrases very well. And it goes, baby, come and give it to me. Yeah, so they step, step, ball change, step, ball change, separate. It's nice. And they hit it, da 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 All them syllables, come on. Then they hit accent, boom. Love the head being introduced in these choices with the ball changes. They're really nice. I like this extra shoulder throw on this. Subtlety, boom, -na -na, with the head. And then you have your legs. Um, normally you see it like really isolated, like that MJ ISO with the knees, but then also a lot of times you see it butterflied out. So I like the hybrid of the in-between for that with the knees inverting in and out on rhythm. Come on, on beat. And I love the subtlety of just the walk with the head. And we dig in and then we use our arm to kind of open that door. It's a subtle fixed point. It stays in a particular space and our body navigates through it, leaving it where it is to create the illusion. And I like the double accent with the scoop on that. Boom, more of the crown. And so you have all your dancers facing one direction, your members facing the other direction. So technically, it's the same choreo, different facings, but everyone's looking front, and that's how it looks hybrid. Or not hybrid, but uh, subtly modified or progressed. It's really fun. And head, 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 and then hit anonymy. And lose yourself. So, I love the speed change on that. And they go to the inside. Filthy. That's filthy. Then you hear that. Mm, dancers drop the arms. Then we're breaking it down. It's time for Julie. I'll be right there. You have your ladies in. Hit with the hip. And then they bounce, go into the inside, and I like this circle, and now they have their arms more diagonal, creating that L shape. I like the interlocking of that. And then I like how she's kind of moving to and fro on her levels because the dancers are doing their thing. It's fixed, right? Like they know when to go high and low. And Julie has that privilege of going and modifying whether she goes high, low. So she is still seen the whole time. And I like this little push away, and I love the intention and the fullness usage of the back for that, ladies. We love it. And then it's an add-on. She goes one, then the two in the back join in, and then my front ladies join in there. And they come back up. And then we have Belle coming in, joining Julie, having our guys come in too. And I love how we hit it with the pickup. One of our girls is freaking popping off with the leg lift. That is so fun. And I like going down and up and down and up. So I like this little extra fullness of our torso being introduced there. So fun. And then we hit with the uh, with the hip, come on with extra, with the extra uh, accent coming from the chest is so fun. It's just just fun. And then we have a little hip rotation, and then from there hitting it over that boom, 
really nice so they step forward they do a little ball change allowing the body to do a little baby shamrock on the tail end with the pull then they do the same thing as what we've already kind of seen so nothing crazy there i like the vibes of it and then you still have Hasul doing kind of the same choice almost identical to the first time so she's consistent that's for sure then you got natty in the center and I like how she threads through. So even though it's the same, when you have a different person as your feature in a moment, it's gonna feel slightly different. I've said this exact point whenever you see Hoshi versus The Eight doing Rain in their performance take at their concert that I just looked at. Those types of choices, when you hear a different tone, just like Natty sounds different than Belle, you're going to subconsciously expect a different variation or something that makes it feel tailored to the feature. And so for me, having a different type of crispness about this and how she chooses to stylize her hands instead of a butterfly she chooses to make it more like a crown i love the subtle differences it's super fun then it goes boom way and i like that they take the arms like we're doing a little hug or we're just covering our eyes it's different than the butterfly we see the butterfly in the center right it just feels different or maybe they were doing it before but the brush is nice it just feels different to me or my focal point normally i was looking at hustle in the first one i was looking at natty the second time which is probably why it just feels different love it yeah, Papa, no. So it's the same thing as what we've already seen. So it promotes cleanliness or consistency, where it's something that's easy, easier to replicate because we're exposed to it more. It's fun. Yeah, but Anana gave it to me, and of course we do a little come here. We love it, and a little jump rope effect on that with a brush, brush, bye bye, with the head. Baby, come and give it to me. Belt didn't quite go full out there. Who freaking cares? Like it's it's really nice that the dancers are holding down the responsibility of their job. They're doing great. Yep, and then they push it away, having different people in subtly different spots. They promote different focal points, which makes the movement feel slightly different, which we love. The double dig on that. Double me. This part. Oh, I love this part. Ugh. Two. Because we have this, it's a smooth, legato, full torso coming in with the accent popping off on the leg. And it had a little ice on the top. She goes up, boom, with the pelvic thrust, having the guys drop down, hit it in a pop, pop. Come on, we're here for it. Then they hit it over and they reset on this. Now this, what I find interesting, I've seen this introduced in some crump postures with this little scuff accent there. But I don't think that's what we're inherently doing. That was like similar to what you would see in a Wu-Tang. <laughs> I've seen that. So just in posture, I see the tail in Wu-Tang on that. And then we go throw, throw, throw. I love that. And we go boom with a jump rope. Yes, we love. They rotate, boom. And then we take it to the side with the grapevine. And I love that Julie's intentionally going the other way. And I love how communal their interaction is. And they go boom, whip it around to the other side. This is so fun, and that's a little sturdy. It does feel like we're kicking like a sturdy boom, boom, and then into a little Brooklyn, but not even a full Brooklyn top rock. It just feels like we're introducing that. Yeah, gotta live and learn, and it's just we're kick, kick, kick. We're here for it. And then getting naughty, ugh, come on, and then they do the first part of the add-on. The dancers join in, and then they do a nice little pull or body roll up. It's a point. Then it goes, get loud. I like the little hip accent on this. So it's a different final course. I'm digging this final course. It's more full, it's more dense, and it feels very communal and a fun finale. And then a little crisscross. And I like with the hips, the isos, or the iso accent to build up. Baby, come and give it to me. Now this move I've heard it called do the 40s. There's probably many different names for it, but that's the move that we're gonna call it today. Please go be curious. There's a lot of these moves that are hybrids of old school party moves. This way it feels like a party. It's because it derives and a lot of these moves come from the era of it's a vibe. It's supposed to be individualized yet communal, like line dancing, right? Which we love. And then they take it over up top. And they take it over with the uh, with a ball ball heel heel, which we really love to see there. And it goes vibe, and I like the fullness of the spacing. It feels more full, more collective, which is nice with the chest, the hips. Baby, come and give it to me. Bring it to the inside. Then we pull in, and they ball change to go and reset on their their transition. I love the little high five on that. The turn is nice. Then we do head and it's step and step. So I like the heel on the heel with the head. Come on now. Bum, 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 bum. And then we all take our head to ISO it to the end. One of me, petty. And they all slide in. I like that the, the ladies get to stay up and the guys got to do the grunt work to get on the floor. 
I, I think that's good delegation, honestly. I think it's fun. They have their moment, and then our, and then two of our ladies, Natty and Julie, go to the ground. Some of our guys go low, and then they go high. So I like that you have your ladies high, and then two of them drop, and then you have all your guys go low, and then two of them come up. It's very balanced by doing that. That's cool with a fun finish. They go brush. Well done, ladies. Well done, dancers. I really like the vibe of this. Like I said, when it comes to the Hollywood pop scene, especially like when you're dealing with this kind of um, – vibe of pop there's so much music right now that is hard for me to listen to just because of the whole diddy situation if you don't know about it um you can save yourself the trouble it's it's i mean you can go be curious about it but it is not good um in a nutshell and so there's a lot of music and artists that i do not feel comfortable listening to right now until things are more clear with the court case um before i feel comfortable reintroducing them back into my spotify uh because i don't want to support artists that are you know um trafficking or doing really terrible things to people I don't like celebrating at all. And so here in this case, when I say that Kiss of Life is so redemptive to me specifically right now on this genre, I feel safer listening to them than I do a lot of the nostalgic music that I have. And that's a very interesting thing. I don't know if others feel that way and that's okay if it's just me, but I'm very appreciative that we've chosen to go this direction. I think it's very fitting and it works their vibe very well and it's totally worth celebrating. And I love just the overall production of their album thus far there's some tracks on there i don't know that are going to get a dance visual but i may make a choreo with jess i know one of them's getting that i don't know which one yet i gotta listen to the whole thing but i am so so excited to continue to dive into kiss of life in this way Thank you guys so much for watching. So I have had the privilege of marathoning their entire discography and there's a couple of their um, tracks that I have not launched on YouTube yet. I don't know when those are going to release and so I'm so sorry for not having that clarity, but I know this one's gonna come out much, much sooner. And if you want in on any of the facets that you're like, ooh, I wonder what Jess's opinion or perspective is on this track that already exists, you can go check it out and see if Patreon has it there. And if not, I would love the recommendation. And I've just really, really enjoyed this group in particular through their growth they have grown so much on the live vocal side as well so it's so commendable and I love the direction that they're going and I'm excited to continue to meet more fans along the way you guys know me I know you I'm Jess and I will catch you on the flip side bye